Welcome to a short how-to video that will cover the basics of setting up the TL50 Pro level function from Banner Engineering. The first step to setting up the TL50 Pro is to connect it to a Windows PC using the Pro Editor Cable Kit and by following the diagram in the datasheet. If you're having trouble connecting, check out our troubleshooting guide on the Banner Pro Editor software. Plug the Pro Editor cable into a USB port on your Windows PC and hit connect. Hit continue and then click on the level button. The current configuration of the light can be simulated by pressing the start button and sliding the bar between 0 and 100%. Start by selecting the modulation mode that will be required for your application. The TL50 Pro can receive pulse frequency modulated or pulse width modulated signals or PFM and PWM for short. For this demonstration, we will be using PFM. You can set the frequency range by using the PFM low and PFM high fields. The frequency range is divided into four thresholds, each of which can be set to a specific percentage which is calculated into specific frequency values based on the PFM low and high entries. For each threshold, you can choose a color and animation that will be applied at that point in the cycle. By enabling dominance, the entire light will change to the same color that the light is set to be at at each threshold. If dominance is disabled, it will apply the color and animation to the individual segments. The colors for each segment can be manually changed to any of the 14 colors preloaded in the software. Also, there are 6 different animations that can be configured to each segment. To save the configuration, stop preview mode and click the right button. Once the configuration is saved, the light is controlled by sending a signal to the white wire. That covers the basics of the Banner TL50 Pro level mode. For more information, visit BannerEngineering.com.